Good evening. Welcome everybody to Miami Jazz Cooperative Monday Jazz. Thank you. I'm Rick Katz, the executive director of the MJC, and uh, we've got, I was here for the sound checks rehearsals. This is going to be an amazing show. Uh, before I bring out our band and our featured artist, uh, let me just tell you a, about a couple things. Um, if you didn't see the sign by the door, outside the door, uh, a couple weeks ago, we introduced Gary's premium pick, Gary Keller, uh, who is the wine connoisseur on our board of directors, has uh, created a selection of premium picks that are going to change from time to time. Uh, they're for those people who are looking for something even a little bit better than what we're normally serving on Monday nights. Uh, so uh, you can ask our server, Annika, about that. Um, oh, there is Mr. Keller right now. Uh, they are his picks, and he said he's perfectly okay with you not drinking them because whatever doesn't get sold, he's taking home. He's going to drink it. Um, a few weeks ago, we started a new format where instead of two sets, we're doing one longer set. A um, lot of discussion about that, pros and cons. We're going to do this um, uh, probably through the summer. I'm going to be reaching out to many of you, particularly those people who are regulars with us on Monday night, to see if after we get used to it, if there's a consensus for or against it. And we will continue to evaluate that. If you've got thoughts, feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Um, next week, we've got a duo, just two amazing musicians, and their new CD is called The Art of the Duo. It's Tal Cohn on piano and John DeVersa on trumpet, John DeVersa being the three-time Grammy-winning director of the jazz program at the Frost School of Music. This is going to be a great performance next week. Um, we urge you to come out uh, for that. I also want to alert you that two weeks from tonight is the NCAA men's basketball final. Um, if the University of Miami wins two more games next weekend, they're going to be in that final game. Even if Miami doesn't make it, we are evaluating whether to move up Jazz to either a 7 or a 7.30 start that night. Tip-off of basketball is at 9.20. And uh, um, so what I'm, the reason I'm telling you this now, pay attention to the emails or the Facebook posts about April 3rd, because that will let you know what we're doing with the time for that particular Monday night. Now, um, Legalia Frazier is new to me and I think to many of you in the audience. Uh, probably not to some of the people in the audience like Randall Dalhan and Larry Lappin who taught for a long time at the University of Miami School of Music long before it was Frost uh, where she was a student. but. For the last 22 years, I guess, Legalia has lived and performed in Sweden and in Europe, uh, where she's a big star. <laughs> um, we learned a couple of months ago that she was coming back for a visit back in South Florida, and Wendy Peterson reached out to me and said, if we've got an open date, let's get her on the schedule. And so that's what we've done. I met her for the first time today. I was here for the rehearsals and the sound checks. You're in for an incredible show tonight. Let me bring out this incredible band. We're calling it the South Florida All-Stars uh, that is playing tonight with Legalia. On drums, Waldo Madera. <laughs> On bass, Augustin Conti. On piano, Jim Gazier. On guitar, Lindsey Blair. 
And on vocals, let's give her a big welcome back to the United States, Legalia Fraser. Okay, so uh, what I want to say, uh, first of all, is that although I do sing some jazz, I wouldn't call myself necessarily a jazz sensation. We want to get that straight now. I can sing jazz. You know, it's all coming from kind of the same place. Uh, so I learned that when I was in college. Uh, so I'm really, I call myself more of a soul singer. Hi, Jennifer. I call myself a soul singer, so uh, this will be sort of a soul singer interpretation of a lot of jazz music for you, okay? Uh, I'm lucky enough to know uh, Lindsey Blair because we worked together back in the day when I lived here. Yeah, he's wonderful. And uh, Jim, did we go to school together? We, I don't think we, but you were there after me, right? Yeah, uh, but I've he I heard about you. you there, there, I, I know, I heard about you after I left. And then I saw you play with Lindsay, and I was like, that's that guy I've been hearing about. He's so wonderful. So I'm, I'm really blessed to be on the stage with two guys that I know, two guys that I don't know. Augustine, I've never met before, but he, hi. Yes, he's wonderful, because uh, we had rehearsal before this, and also Waldo. I have seen him play before, and he's very funky. It's just too bad you don't have a microphone back there because he sings good too, but I'll let you off this time. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with a swing tune um, called On a Clear Day. I'm gonna send this song out to uh, Little Nikki. I don't know if you know who she is. Uh, she's uh, a violinist, but I was doing this gig at the Intercontinental Hotel. I was a baby while I was in school. And she came into the room and she, you know, she's very New York and I was like, oh my God, she's so cool. And she was gonna come up and do On A Clear Day. And I thought that she was gonna be good, but she like blew my mind to the point where I didn't wanna go on stage after her. <laughs> she was that good. And I'm gonna send it out to her. I don't think she's here, but hopefully in the cosmos, she'll hear it. And look around you And you'll see just who you are On a clear day When I was stung you That the glow of your being Shines every star you feel part of every mountain seen shine. You will hear from far and near a world you never met before. But on a clear day, on that clear day, you will see. Clear down, oh, you, you are that the glow of 
your being outshines every star. You'll feel proud of every mountain, sea, and shore. You will hear from far and near a world you never ever heard before. But on that clear day, on that clear day, you can see. take away some of that effects in here if you want. Okay, thank you. All right, so that was a good warm-up song. I hope that Nikki heard it. One of these. Yeah, I hope she did. Uh, we're going to do uh, a song now called I'll Remember April. We're going to do it in the key of B-flat, guys. Uh, I heard that Hal didn't come. Is Susan here? Hi. Oh, so you're the Comptons. Oh, I, I don't think I remember me. I kind of recognized you, so I, all right. Is he okay? Oh, okay, all right. Well, we're gonna try to come out and see him. Hal, by the way, is my dad. He's 88 years old, and he is phenomenal, all right? He is, yeah. And uh, we're gonna probably come and see you on uh, Sunday, okay? Uh, with Devin and Debbie, my two best friends who he flirts with shamelessly. It's really sad. But I, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're uh, going to send this one out to him because he really d thinks that this song is a little too much for me. Because <laughs> he sings good. All right. So I'll remember April. Ready? Uh, we do it like part balsa and part swing. 
We start off in right uh, Augustine on base. Hey! This love and evil in the new evening. We'll say goodbye to all we never had. And oh, will we walk together? I'll remember April and I will be glad. I'll be glad that you love me once in April. You know, lips were warm and love and spring were new. Oh, but I'm not afraid of autumn and uh, sorrow wildly. April and you Oh, the fire will kindle the glowing ashes For flames and love live Such a little while But I won't be sad I won't be lonely I'll remember April I'll remember you I'll remember April I'll remember you I'll remember April I'll remember April you Jim, what the heck? Oh my God. He's like, yes, my name is Jim Geyser and I'm going to kill you. Oh my God, that was so wonderful. Oh my goodness. All right, so uh, I did that for Hal. Now we know he knows it, yeah? Uh, I'm gonna sing this next song, uh, which is one more standard, and then we're gonna move on to some more contemporary music. Uh, it's gonna feature Jim. We're gonna do a whole set, just so you guys know. There's not gonna be a break. 
because they asked us to do it that way and my vocal cords love that actually so because it's not like speed up slow down speed up slow down so it's really quite quite cool you know what I mean Larry <laughs> am I the same am I the same as I was when I was in college No, because I think I was really shy in college. He, well, thank you, Larry. That's a wonderful male answer to have. You were wonderful then as you are now. Very safe and very smart. <laughs> okay. Let's, we're going to do a song. It's, it's called The Shadow of Your Smile, but I've been doing it in Sweden with the verse. So... Uh, most of those, uh, most of these standards were done, uh, in, like they were done in shows a lot of the times, you know, like Broadway shows. And a lot of the times before the song started, they would have like, you know, some sort of vocal melody and I will sing it for you. Before you know the song is done, we will have a few. And then it'll be like, jingle bells, jing, you know. So that, I mean, it's not that kind of idea, but it is, it is that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is that way that a lot of those songs have pre-verses. Um, you know, like the vocalese in operas, a lot of times before the opera starts, there's a lot of something, something, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I know that song. This song is, you know it, but this part is the beauty, beauty of the song, I think. Shut up, Ligeria. And sing. One day we walked along the sand One day in early spring You held the piper in your hand To mend its broken wings no, Kissed your lips and the soul uh, that I.
Lindsay Blair. Wishful little star, wishful little star. Very much, Jim Geyser, 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 Lindsay Blair, Trent, where are you? Trent, are you riding me? Don't ride me, man. Please, you riding me? Don't ride me. Okay, because I don't really, I can't. Okay, so now. So now we're going to switch it up a little bit to something that is, uh, well, it, actually, these next two songs were written by a guy mostly famous in the 70s, well, 60s, actually, 60s he started. And he wrote a lot of pop songs, pop songs like, uh, it takes two, baby, it takes, and also, ain't no mountain high enough. But then the 70s came along, and the world changed. But it changed a lot. And he started writing some pretty deep stuff. Um, and these next two songs are two of those songs that were pretty deep. And if you listen to the words, well, they actually make a lot of sense now. They're written in the 70s, and it's still like, it's like he wrote them yesterday. So, uh, and we're going to feature Saint, his name is not Saint Augustine, but his name is Augustine. And that's the thing I do in my head, so I remember his name. We're going to feature Augustine. Yes?
It's far too many of you dying You know we got to find a way To bring some love and need it there What is not the answer? Is all in love, all in love, all in love can go to hell. You know we got to find a way to bring a little love into the day. Well, you know what we got to give you. fun um yeah uh so your body is fatty yeah <laughs> so are there any Swedish people in the no okay so I speak Swedish actually and I have a jätte jätte bra kompis who say when I speak Swedish she like feels like I'm like the exorcist like my head's gonna spin around and spew green vomit because she thinks it's so weird for a black person from America to be like, <laughs> Has anybody ever been to Sweden? No. Yes. Okay. Did you like it? Did you have a good time? Wasn't it beautiful? Were you there in the summertime? Yes. Good for you. Because it can get very cold there. But I like the cold because, um, you know, it makes me feel fresh. Because I'm sweating now, but I've been sweating since I was like about 12. So, no, I mean, seriously. So it works really good for my body temperature. I can't believe you're here. Nikki, I can't believe you're here. You know I dedicated the first song to you. Did you, did you, were you here the first song? I, what would make you think I didn't do that? Because I was face, 
face I was asking you on Facebook, please, can you come, please, please, can we sing together, please, please? All right. I am a knucklehead. I dedicated the first song to you. Did you hear that? I dedicated the first song to you. All right. Yeah, you know, and you... I'm glad you weren't here, because you would have been like, yeah, she shouldn't have done that song either, actually. So that's good. You came exactly at the right time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so um, let's do uh, a song by Patsy Cline, a song that actually I recorded with my dad. It's a, you know who she is, right? Crazy, crazy for feeling so lonely. Not that song, though. We're going to do another song by her called Walking After Midnight. Yeah, I like this song. And uh, actually, uh, Trent, you can give me a little, where are you, man? I don't see you. You're hiding in the background. You're a very good-looking man, and you know you should let people see you. So anyway, you can give me a little, a little delay and reverb if you want, and inside here if you want, okay? Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna send this one out to Mr. Katz. I don't think he knows this song, and I don't know where you are, but I'm sending it out to you, wherever you are. Mr. Katz, is he here? Well, you guys tell him that I sent this to him, okay? Okay. And let's not even talk about, could I pick the right outfit for this, these chords? What the heck? It's a total match. Okay, here we go. I it's think I'm... Say it again? It's the MJC colors. It's the MJC colors, that Miami Jazz Coupe colors. I didn't even know that. You know, Jim, if you weren't married, don't look at me like that, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> He's married and I'm not doing that, I right? Wasn't married when I met no, but I mean, I don't remember when you met me. <laughs> I was probably drunk. So like, yeah. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to start this off with you, right? Or actually, Waldo and you, right? Huh? You guys going to kick it off? What tempo you got? No, no, no. You know that's not good with me. You got to do it because I, I can count it off wrong. I search for miles along the highway Well, that's just my way of saying I love you I'm always walking after midnight Searching for you I start to see a weeping willow Crying on his pillow Maybe he's crying for me And as the stars turn gloomy Night winds whisper to me I'm lonesome as I can be I go, I walk after midnight out in the starlight, hoping you will be somewhere I'm walking after a midnight, searching for me. I go up again after midnight, out in the starlight, hoping, hoping you will be somewhere I'm walking after midnight, searching for me. I search for my
from the same embryo but what a band oh my god I'm sorry I hope there's no one in Sweden in this audience because you know this kind of communication doesn't happen with me in Sweden there's a different kind of communication it goes like if if I'm in the audience in Sweden and I really like something this is what I do <laughs> seriously that's it so I had to learn that language because I thought no one likes me but actually they were like that's it you're in. Seriously. So, uh, yeah, so now it's like I totally, you, I don't scare you guys. Well, maybe I scare you a little bit. I should, actually. But, <laughs> but I don't scare you guys, so it's so cool. I mean, I love this. Oh, my God, Nikki, I can't believe you're here. I'm, I'm totally, I want, I want you to come up, but I don't. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I don't know. Wait a second, you don't know, no, you don't know, I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to ask you, you know. I'm just, just keep it in mind, let it marinate like a big old neck bone, and we, you know, you know, we just, I know, I'm not going to ask you right now, but this band, come on, all right. So, uh, am I, am I, I might be talking too much, you know, this is the thing that Nikki and I, when we met, we didn't really talk so much because I was looking up to you and I said, I told them I didn't want to come on stage, but what I realized is now that I've gotten older, <laughs> uh, now I realize that we are actually quite much the same. We could, we could have been such good friends back then, but I couldn't have gotten, my head was up my butt, I couldn't get out of my way fast enough, because I was like, oh my God, oh my God, she's so good, oh my God, you know, she's talking to me, oh, oh. That's what I was, but now I'm like, yes, I'm in my blue, and I'm standing in front of you. And I'm owning my womanhood and all that stuff, and yes. Thank you. It's a new microphone. What do you think? It's a Lewitt. What do you think of this microphone? I never heard of it before either, but all these guys have. Yeah, it's from Sweden. I'm not so sure, right? It's not Swedish. It's Austrian. How did you know? Who's that back there? It's, I feel very old right now, but yeah. Okay, yeah, but uh, you know, I, how do you think, what do you think of it? Oh, that's a no. She's saying, she's giving it a, no, she's giving it a thumbs down. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you think, Larry? Thumbs up. Good answer. Okay, so we're going to do a song now that uh, Lindsay arranged. We used to do this song a long time ago. Uh, I actually started doing this song uh, in a club that I used to work at uh, back in the day. And 
oddly enough, I moved to Sweden, and then I did this show that the song is from. It is somewhere, uh, and it's by Leonard Bernstein, but the, the funny thing was I played Anita, which is, of course, that's the role I should play because, yeah. But Anita actually doesn't sing the role in West Side Story. It's done by a choir member, you know, and you never really see who sings it. But um, I did the show, and they, they, they let me sing it. Uh, I'm not really a musical theater artist. I have to say that the box that you have to step in when you do a show, which is whatever, whatever journey the show is going through, you have to go through that same journey. And you can imagine, like, this show that I'm doing for you now is not planned, so for me to have to do the same thing every night was a bit of a challenge for me. It was a good lesson. It was definitely a good lesson, but uh, it wasn't really my thing. Um, and I had to do it in Swedish, <laughs> which I didn't sing the song in Swedish, but I mean, literally, like, uh, a boy like that was, you know, a boy like that would kill your mother, and so some Han. It's it's just a very very hard language, you know. Uh, it's it's a hard. It's not a soft language, and the music of Bernstein for me is so soft and beautiful, you know. That that I it, for me that the two things didn't uh, mix. I also actually auditioned for um, the Lion King when I uh, when I was in Sweden, and they wanted me to join in the German the German company, and they were doing all the songs in German. And I auditioned for the lead, and they wanted me to play that baboon with the ring around her butt. <laughs> yeah, do you know that role, the one, hey, little. and I was like, yeah, that's not the role I wanted. I mean, I thought I was gonna be the pretty one, you know, and they were like, yeah, you know the one, the, yeah, you know her. So that, yeah, who was she? Do you know her name? Oh my God, yeah, but she was the star, actually. So I could have, it would have, you know, she's the but I was like, no, 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 I can't do that, you know. <laughs> German is a great language, but I love you, I love you. Jota um, mo. How do you say it in French? Uh, je t'aime. Uh, in German, ich liebe dich. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just not the same for me. You know, in Swedish, ja elsker dig. It's just like some languages, they don't quite give you that feeling of like, oh, mm, you know, <laughs> sorry. Not that I, and I love Germany, I think it's really beautiful there, but the language, eh, not so much. Okay, so even, even uh, what's it in, in Italian? Are you Italian? You're Argentine. Oh, what's, what is it in Argentine, in, in Spanish? What is it? I just wanted to hear you say it. So we're gonna do that song now. I'm turning into hell, aren't I, Susan? Oh. made me cry. Okay, so somewhere? Do I start at acapella? I don't think so. Me and them. Okay. Yeah, we haven't done this. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's about... Uh, as a ballad? <laughs> a place for us. Somewhere a place... No. <laughs> Peace and quiet. Sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's a together 
with time to spare Time to learn Time to care Thank you. That was different. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Good. All right. I don't know. What do we got here? Are you okay? Okay. Do you want to try summertime? Do, do we have time? We have time, right? We're, we're doing good on time. Yeah? Um, so we're going to do, uh, summer. no, we're not going to do that, but we're going to do summertime, but we're not going to do it like that. Uh, we're going to do it in 5-4, which, do you have any other musicians in the audience besides Nikki and Larry? <laughs> we have some musicians in the audience. All right, we got some musicians in the crowd. That's cool. Uh, I think I have met you, Mr. Compton, haven't I? We have, we have met. We met uh, forever. You hate things in five four. I used. I don't. I mean, I used to not like it, but then I was listening to this guy. He was a, a bass player, and his name is Ravi Shai Cohen, and he Ravi Shai Cohen. I'm sorry, and he does everything. He does all weird time signatures. But you always feel like, yeah, that's where it's supposed to be. Like, you feel groovy with it. And I was like, yeah, that kind of is kind of a cool, actually, groove. It's not really the thing you want to go dancing to. You know, because it's like, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, like that. Instead of like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or ba, two, three, ba, ba, ba. These are danceable, you know. Da, la, da, da. All right. Da, da. <laughs> um, but 5-4 is not a, da a, a time signature that you dance in. But it's a good one in this song. I hope you like it. I don't do drugs, by the way. I don't know why I like it. I think it's the music. I really think it is. Jumping in the good news line. Well, your daddy's rich and your mama's good looking. So hush, little baby, don't, oh, 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 won't you cry? One of these mornings, like you will the boys up singing. Then you'll sprung wings and take to the sky. But I don't know, 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 don't
Hush, little baby, now don't you cry. Hush, little baby, don't you To Waldo on the drums, y'all. Are you married, Waldo? Oh, that's too bad because I know someone. Anyway, and that's Augustine. Can you tango, Augustine? A little bit because I have a really good friend that's a tango dancer, too. It's like I kind of know all you guys, and of course, Lindsay, I love you too. Yes, well, um. I don't really know what's coming on after that. You know, like it's, it's certain things that happen to you as a musician where you realize that after it's over, you're not going to remember anything. And this is one of those times. I know I'm going to go home and I'm going to be like, I don't even know what I just did. What happened? Because, you know, generally I am more in control in Sweden. You have to be like, you know, simply the band, you know, that kind of stuff. And you have to really dra drag the band with you because they're like, But this band, I'm like, oh my God, we're, you know, I feel like I'm running down the road, like, you know, the, the road runner, the coyote, exactly. Oh, I better hold on, hold on, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm making a mess for you up here, Trent. <laughs> I don't know how, you know, I don't know how we're gonna get this. Do you wanna do something with just me and you, Lindsay? I don't know, what do you think? Are you okay? Okay, good. Uh, what about, um, no, I know. I'm you. I I like to ask you that. You know, I used to always ask you that. So I'm just asking. You know. All right. Let's do somewhere over the rainbow. You guys can take a. Oh. So. you God. 
skies are blue and if birds can fly up over the rainbow then hey now so Happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow. Why, oh, why can't Thank you. Thank you. I like this microphone, but it doesn't give me much space, I think, is what it is, you know? It feels like I don't have a room. I feel like I'd rather, I, I can almost, you wouldn't even say now as you do right now. Is it, is that what you're talking about, Renee? It feels like that. Jennifer, so what do you think? Is it what you thought? Oh, you must have thought I sucked. She met me before, she's like, yeah, you can't sing. You know, I often have that problem when I meet people, like in the, in the airports and stuff, and they say, you know, what do you do for a living? And right before I say I'm a singer, I feel like I'm a liar. I told you this, Deb. So I know that when I, when I say it, they feel that energy of, she's lying. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then they would say, well, yeah, but what do you really do? And I say, no, that's what I do. And they're like, you make your living at that? And I'm like, yeah. I actually do, and then I know that I walk away and there's like, she's not a singer. <laughs> do you ever feel like that, Nikki? No. Yeah, I know, I know. I gotta, I gotta get a little further. Yeah. I'm not even going there, but yes, I do. But I'm, own, I'm starting to own it a little more. You know what I mean? I'm starting to do this every now and then. <laughs> it's not often. Believe me, but I, I'm starting to do it every now and then. We're gonna do. Is it the Shaka Khan medley time? What time is it? Okay, so now we're gonna do something really funky, <laughs> and I love this medley. Um, I unfortunately left it to the end of the set, and maybe all the notes are not gonna be hit by moi. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it, and it's gonna be in the right feeling of Shaka Khan. Brenda, how are you? How long? You're terrible? Oh, okay. H how long has it been since we saw each other? Girl, please. So I was in the crib. I think it's been oh, more than 30 years. That was way more than 30 years, girl. You trying, trying to hide. That was like over 40 years ago, right? Wow. So it was with Bob Roberts and all those people. And Roscoe Speed. Oh my God! Roscoe Speed was the first guy that ever made me sing. He had Elton John glasses before I even knew who Elton John was. He smelled so good all the time. Oh my God! And he wore those Kiana shirts, remember? Do you guys remember Kiana? Yeah, that shiny sort of spandexy kind of material. Well, back in the 70s, guys used to wear those and he had those high-waisted pants. Oh my God, Roscoe Speed, is he? No. Well, I'm gonna send this out to him. The ironic part is this. <clears throat> I actually, the first time I ever started singing, I was, I was a pianist, a classical pianist, and I was playing piano for the choir, very shy. And uh, I auditioned uh, with a piece called Toccata by, uh, for the, this was for the school talent show. And I auditioned with this piece, it was really like by Kachatorian. Dun! Really modern, dun, 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 really, really just crazy. And Roscoe Speed and the other guy who was in charge of this, they were like, you know, yeah, 500 high school students. And the guy looked at Roscoe and said, can she sing? And he was like, she can sing! And he had this music and he ran up on stage and it was, touch me in the morning. And he made me sing it. And at that point I, ha I had also Elton John glasses on. And I was totally nerd, like, oh my God. So 
fast forward, when we did the show, the talent show, I got on stage and my mom had made this long gown. I took off my glasses, so no contact lenses, and they had one of those big glass balls, you know, the mirror balls. So all I saw when I walked out on stage was this, these lights reflecting, right? And I did another song by Diana Ross, Do You Know Where You're Going To, right? And I finished singing the song, and I just remember this sound of the, the 500 high school students going, it was like, it was pandemonium, you know? And then I stood there in my really beautiful dress that my mother had made, and I just said, just go off the stage and don't fall. And I'm still saying the same thing. You see what I got going on up here, man? This is, it's like, it's, 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 it's aching for me, all right. No, you can't do it, it's a singer thing. We all know how to make these chords go crazy. It's like a dreadlock. No, no. Tell me something. 
verse, another verse. Tell me that you love me. Yeah. No, well, you got the time is what you're longing to say. to each day But let me tell you what your problem is You ain't been long Like you sure What I got to do Well, sure I do Something good Cause I wanna go I wanna go everywhere you are Through the fire To the limit For a chance of loving you, I'd gladly risk it all. Through the fire, to the limit, to the just didn't sing it then. <laughs> you know, Shaka Khan, she's like our, you know, she's a nemesis for us. I mean, it's here. Oh, no way. Yeah, it's the mic. I'm not, I'm not used to the mic. So I just wanted to let her know that I could hit the note. I would never choose a song that I couldn't hit all the notes. But this microphone, I'm not so sure about. What do you think? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is all up there. It's totally up there. But it's good that we know that it is all up there. Because then when you lose, you know, when you sort of let go of it and you realize, that wasn't really so hard, actually, yeah. So um, it's, it's uh, about that time, actually, for us to say goodnight to all our com... Oh, my God, shut up. <laughs> I was going to go into the M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Uh, but, we, yeah, but I'm really, really thankful to Mr. Katz, that I can't remember your last name. Is it Kevin Katz? Rick Katz, are you there? Hi, Rick. I'm thankful so much that you let us come here and let me come here and do this, uh, this, this thing that has given me so much energy you will never know. I'm serious. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm really hoping that 
I'm hoping that the next time I visit, I'm putting him on the spot, that the next time I visit, I can come back. And I will hit that note 500 times, I promise you. I think I'm gonna let, let Trent do like a normal uh, SM58 on me. Trent, how you doing back there? You okay? The guy that did all the sound at tonight, Trent? Thank you so much, okay? And um, Larry, I'm so thankful that you came here. Do I know you as well? You look very familiar to me. No, him. Do I know you? Oh, that's him. I was not trying to get with your man, but I thought you looked really familiar. I'm so sorry. But anyway, yeah. Girl, you know, I'm gonna make sure you go on before I get off the stage, because I see what you got going on there, okay? Yeah. I was not doing that. But I, you looked really familiar, I thought. Have, you got, have I met you two before? No? Oh, well, now we have. So now we're good, because we met each other, yeah? I, I, I'm so thankful that uh, you came, Larry. I, um, yeah, I, no, I'm picking you out because you, you, have meant, you have meant so much to me in my life. This guy, I can even imitate the way you used to walk. That's how much I used to love to see you because he walked with a groove. You know Larry, right? He was super tall and lanky, and he would come through the school, like down the practice rooms like this. He was always grooving, always grooving. And I love that about you. So I always felt like, you know, he gets me kind of in a way, you know what I mean? Everybody else was like, oh, and I was like, yeah, hey, you know, that's all right, like that. Very much like my father, actually, who also walks like that, too. You know, he's got a groove. So I always felt this, like, kindred thing with you. Um, and also because you had, you know, those jazz vocal choirs uh, that we used to sing in, right? Yes. And I was not the jazz singer then either. <laughs> but Michelle was, and I love her, and she just had this unbelievable voice, and I wish almost that, like, we could all get all of us together again. You know what I mean? Us that are still singing. What? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, all these singers that are around. I never sang with Wendy, but I, I've seen her sing on, 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 on FaceTime, Face. Facebook and everything, and there's so many singers that are spawns of you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe I don't know, I only know them because you taught them and these just wonderful jazz singers, so thank you so much for, you know, gracing us with your love of music. You, and also remember Bob Gower? You know, he may, I almost would dropped out because of him. No, I mean, I almost dropped out in spite of, he was the one that made me stay, because I was totally, remember the theory classes at eight o'clock? I'm not a morning person. And I missed these classes all the time. And he sat me down, he called me in for a meeting, and I was all scared. And he said, you know, it's not for me, but you know, you could really have some, a wonderful life with music if you just applied yourself a little more. It's not really so bad, and it's not as hard as you think it is. It was as hard as I thought it was, but it was worth it to get up to in his class. And I actually, this guy was almost like a, like making masterpieces on our chalk, we had chalkboards back then. And he was making it so interesting. So yeah, you were one of them, and Vince too. God rest him so, yeah, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna do this last song called, um, let me think. Did you see the drummer make an eye at me? Did you see that? I said, we're going to do another you and see, and he went. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to wait for uh, Augustine to, to set up his lovely upright bass, which is the perfect color. No one got that. It's brown. No one got <laughs> A beautiful color bass you have there, Augustine. Let's just get a little bit closer and say, oh, look at that. Isn't it perfect? It's just a wonderful fadi, fadi, which is color of green. All right. So, uh, yeah, and thank you so much for coming out. And uh, the name of this song is There Will Never Be Another You. And I send it out to everybody here in this audience. Hmm? Yeah, I think so. This is it.
There were many other nights like this But I'll be standing there with someone new There will be other songs to sing Another fall, another spring But there will never be another you There will be many lips that I may kiss But they won't thrill me like yours used to do There will be other dreams to dream, my friends But will they all come true? No, there will never ever be another songs to sing another fall another spring but there will never ever be another you there will be many, 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 many lives that I may kiss but they won't thrill me like yours used to do there will be other dreams to dream my friends but will they all come true cause there be another
Gala Frazier. Thank you so much. Oh my God, that was so much fun. Thank you so much, and I hope I see you again some other time. Larry. Thank you, everybody. Next week, the amazing pianist Tal Cohn with three-time Grammy winner John DeVersa right here. And so